Hello and welcome to this video in which I'm going to talk about coil. Now, for a British person, coil just means like a wire or a piece of metal that's wound tightly into a cylinder-like shape. But the coil I want to talk about is the company that was founded in 2018 by former Ripple Chief Technical Officer Stefan Thomas. Now, the purpose of coil is to allow companies to accept XRP as a form of payment, uh, in a sense, completely transforming it into a form of digital currency. Now, at the moment, the plan for XRP from Ripple is that it is used as a liquidity pool to settle between two different currencies. For example, if you had dollars and you wanted pesos, you would use XRP uh, as a liquidity, an intermediary between those, instead of um, what happens at the moment using SWIFT uh, to transfer currency which can take anything up to five days and comes with a high cost as well. In some cases uh, it would literally be quicker and cheaper to take the cash on an aeroplane in a suitcase and deliver it by hand. So here's what Thomas had to say about Coil's mission. For decades, people have discussed the potential of micropayments to support content creators that would move us away from the broken and supported web. Others have created subscription services that bundle content, but micropayments and subscriptions have always been built as closed systems, which fail to capture the huge variety of content on the web. So what is Coil all about? Well, I'm one of the beta testers and recently I've fully signed up for it. So I've subscribed for $5 a month and for that $5 there are certain websites I will go to that whilst I'm browsing them for every second, every moment I'm on that website, Coil will pay from my subscription to that website um, a certain amount of money. Now that process uses XRP, uh, which we've mentioned earlier. So I'm going to go through a little example of exactly how this works for me as a subscriber but also as a content creator because I've enabled my YouTube channel, the, the channel that you're watching this video on right now, to uh, be part of that COIL payment process. Now I guess the end game for something like COIL is to give websites the opportunity to allow certain people to use it ad free. Now YouTube at the moment will show you ads before, during, after, in between, on the homepage, they're everywhere. And fine, that's part of the, the business model. That's how we, as viewers, get to watch YouTube for free. And it's how content creators are paid for the videos that they produce. Now with Coil, it removes the ads if you are a subscriber, potentially. At the moment, it doesn't. Um, but if you're watching a, um, a content creator's channel and they've subscribed, um, to be paid through Coil, uh, this is what it looks like. So let's have a look. So it seems that Coil is going to be a direct competitor with um, um, services such as Brave, the web browser that uses uh, BAT or BAT tokens in order to, facil to facilitate micropayments for internet content. Uh, Coil is also similar in concept to Change Tip, uh, an internet tipping app which was popular on social media before it burned through its funding and closed its operations. Something else that you'll be familiar with is XRP TipBot, um, which on Twitter you can tip people in XRP for content that they come up with, tweets or links or videos that they share. Uh, not dropping any hints there, but if you want to, uh, at and Canavan plus one XRP TipBot. Um, but this that's for another time. Let's just focus on Coil for now. So Coil would take the concept of micropayments using XRP to the next level and, if successful, could prove that XRP is efficient for transferring both large and small quantities of value. I mean, currently one of the most popular and widespread methods of tipping influencers and content creators on Twitter and on Reddit is through the XRP tip bot, uh, which so far has facilitated over 55,000 XRP uh, being tipped to content creators or just people that are doing tweets or sharing posts on Reddit. Okay, so here we can see on the screen uh, is my dashboard. Now, 
you've got two options here, explore content. So if you're a subscriber and you don't, you're not a content creator, like you don't have a YouTube video or you don't post to Reddit or anything like that, you can just explore the content. So on there, you've got um, all the sites which are currently using uh, Coil to monetize its traffic. I'll show you exactly how this works in just a moment, but as you can see, there's a lot of um, uh, sites that surround cryptocurrency and Ripple and all that sort of stuff. A few um, charity ones there as well. But the two up here, it says unaffiliated sites. The following sites are neither affiliated nor partnered with Coil. When you browse these sites, Coil will send money to them using their existing donation systems. So there's not an official link between Coil and Twitch and YouTube just yet. However, it does work to, uh, to send the content creators money. Uh, on Twitch, you can see you can go to, um, this is something I very rarely use, but if I was to stream, for example, I'd be able to, uh, whilst watching a stream of someone who's got a Coil account, it would send them money whilst the stream is active on your browser. It all works via a plugin. Now if you go over to YouTube, uh, which I've done here, I've already got a window open. One of my hilarious videos, XL Poop won't flush down the toilet, then disaster. Um, if you've not seen it yet, uh, I wouldn't bother, it's not one of my best works. Um, but it's just something to um, show you how it works. So. Up in the top right hand corner of the screen here, we can see that the Coil plugin has access to this site, which is YouTube.com. Uh, if you click it, you can see that just by having this page open on the view screen, on, on the watch page here, um, that money is going from Coil, from the subscription that I have, to this. This blog is me, my YouTube channel. Now, it's been open, well, for the duration of this recording, so I'm going to say about two and a half, three minutes now, and it hasn't even generated a penny. In fact, I think it's about to generate its first penny in about 30, no, less 10 seconds. There you go, it's just generated a penny. So uh, having this window open for just under three minutes has generated one penny. Now, if you multiply that by potentially all of the people that could watch YouTube um, and use Coil, that is a much better way for content creators to get revenue from people without them having to sit through you know, boring adverts or watching things that they have literally no interest in. But by subscribing to this, uh, this payment model of, of micropayments and things like this, um, it bypasses the need for YouTube to show any ads. So, uh, as you can see, that, that's gonna carry on as for the whole time I've got this page open, it will continue to generate micro payments um, through YouTube to the content creator. Now if we go back to the dashboard on the Coil site, you can see I can monetize my content. And it's very simple to do that. Um, on a payment pointer, which is for uh, Twitter, you can see that here my payment pointer is connected to my Twitter. So if anyone uh, at and Canavans on Twitter then uses XRP tipbot to send XRP my way, um, it will come through this. Uh, also, you can web monetize your own personal site. So if you've got a blog or anything like that, you can put um, a HTML script, in, I think, at the, yeah, at the head section of all your pages. So at the top, of the code, the HTML, uh, puts in this little script so that when that web page is open, again, Coil will recognize it, the plugin will recognize that you're on that site, uh, watching whatever content is on there, and it will start to send micro payments to that content creator. So as you can see, uh, the, the, the Coil website is very simple to use at the moment. There's very few um, partners that it has or, or ways that you can get micropayments as a content creator. Primarily, if you're a Twitch streamer or if you're on YouTube, I think these are the ones that you need to, to get on right now. Because when, if this takes off, you're talking about a revolution in how content creators will be paid. You know, they won't have to start or end every video or stream with a link to Patreon saying, please support me. Because every second, whether it's um, 
a short video or a long video, as long as people are watching that content, you're gonna get micro payments. Multiply that up on a scale of hundreds of thousands of people, you know, for the top YouTube content creators, then you're looking at uh, a payment system which is fair for, for everyone. Um, so yeah, that pretty much sums up what COIL is about. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. But what I recommend anyone out there that is a content creator, whether it be on YouTube, whether you're a Twitch streamer, anything like that, have a look into COIL because it's a source of revenue that at the moment is untapped, but the more people that use it, the more popular it gets, the more it will take off and the better it will be for content creators. Uh, especially in a time when YouTube can potentially demonetize your content for things that are out of your control. So it's just put a little bit more of the power back to the content creators. So there we have it. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it interesting, please click like. If you want more stuff like this, please click subscribe and also click that little bell button next to it so you get notifications when I upload new videos. Don't forget, I don't just do stuff like this. Uh, I mean, cryptocurrency is something more of a hobby at the moment, but the more it takes off, the more I will share any new developments or anything like that. And if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if there's enough comments, if there's enough interest in things like this, uh, then I'll make some more. You know, gotta keep the people happy. Uh, my name's Ant Canavan. Uh, don't forget you can follow me on Instagram at Ant Canavan, Twitter at Ant Canavan, and, but uh, not on Facebook though, that's, that's just for friends and family. But on YouTube as well, I've got loads of videos going back ages. I'm gonna prune some of them. Some are a bit boring, but uh, some are quite interesting. So there we go. Thanks for watching and I will see you again in the next video. Thank you very much.